what's up everybody welcome back to the bamcast podcast the bamcast as always is the home of the anti-pc shout out to boom draw physics for the intro song prismatic verse for the intro sequence and thank you guys for rocking with us make sure to check out youtubebright.com promo code bam10 you get 10 percent off anything you've ordered and here with me as always is the faithful co-host bobby b Timmy, uh, shit. <laughs> who is watching timmy play <laughs> halo and laughing focus focus we're over here buddy faithful co-host yeah. bobby b is her don't know and fam i went to a golf tournament today who does that i w- apparently one of our friends was the reigning champion so we went to watch him defend really yeah nibs you know you know nibs you've been to nico's house you probably know his face um yeah nibs is the was the champion and Hi, so nibs. big up yourself yeah big up yourself nibs he came second so you know didn't defend the title but he is the second so i mean come on that's pretty dope and dog uh, one of the coolest things ever happened today, a hole in one. And it wasn't close. It was from basically like you picture a golf course, but the man them up on a hill over there saying like in you know, the bush bush. Mm-hmm. And it just like, all you hear is like a gunshot, like whoop. And you're looking, looking, can't really see the ball because the white and I mm-hmm. blind. And it just landed, tap, 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 roll, 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 right in. I didn't know that really happened. Mm-hmm. It was fire. Did you see the, there was a video a couple of months ago, a guy in the PGA or one of them professional tours in the States and he skipped the ball off the top of the pond. I think I saw that on Twitter. And it went into the hole on the other side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I saw that on so Twitter. So not only did he skip it, he also got it in the hole. Yeah, with yeah, the yeah. one shot. Yeah. And it, like, kids... You, we used to sip stone in a hand, get a nice flat stone, you throw it perpendicular to the surface. I think the, the most skips I've ever gotten is like five. Yeah, like five or six. He only got, he only needed one skip, but he hit a golf ball hard and low and he just skimmed the surface of the water and it literally just bounced off of it. That was, re- you know, crazy. I don't care. Physics, how, bro. I don't care how boring the sport is. Highlights of most sports can get me like, even chess. Like, have you ever seen, I've seen highlights of Masters Chess where I need, I need an announcer being excited for me to get excited. It was something like that. It it wasn't, it wasn't even that that got me, you know, what got me was like the the time is running here, like normal, how we see time, Mm -hmm. but they're playing with a clock and the clock is right there. Mm -hmm. The time just started to pull away because of how fast the man they move and hit the clock, like they would do it before the second pass. So when about three minutes on the real time pass, Mm -hmm. the clock itself maybe moved. 14 seconds. Like the man was playing ahead of like the it that was sick to me. I tell you, most we lost our shit over curling one time, guys. Like literally, we were just curling is fire. See? Any any highlights. I will hold on to that. I I go on YouTube and look at curling highlights (laughs) when I want a good laugh. Yo, curling's fire, bro. Curling is fire. Curling. If if you ever played marbles as a child, it's marbles on ice. ice. It the niggas with the broom. Man. And like you fucking understand what the broom does and you're just like Jano this shit oh, is fire though bro it's, yeah. when I, it's when I learned what the broom does it did blow my mind I was like yo the man them adding friction to the ice to make it liquefy no, you, yeah. so it mm. can go liquor further mm. I was just like smooth it out right in front as of as I boom but dog and yo, sweep I, sweep hold and the man them just stop <laughs> bro <laughs> I as a man who used to play enough marble as a yeah. youth no curling is fire that, yo I'm sure we in this um, quarantine that we've been under for the past more than a year, we've all watched some marble racing. Yo! yo Every single person yo, the one by now like has seen a video of marble racing. The one where the man them set up in there. We did a podcast reacting to that. I had somewhere you guys should go look at that. Where like the man them set up the, um, the course in dirt mm-hmm. and put the marbles uphill behind something. Uh, Jay's? Jelly's Jelly's marble marble race. There There you go. And then just start and you have some fire announcers, you know, Mm -hmm. the the announcers make it. But I can't believe I caught myself wholeheartedly invested in marbles rolling down a hill due to gravity. Mm -hmm. Just like, yo, blue, 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 go, 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 Mm -hmm. go, go. Yo, go, 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 go. Blue, blue, blue. But uh, that reminds me, um, high school, like first, second form, whenever rain would fall at Campion, uh, along the, one of the walkways in the school, big gully of water would form. Mm-hmm. I just have this raging torrent running down. So I would make either a paper boat 
and sail it down. I used to be in prep school. Race that shit. I used to be like first one. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. There's a little bleed over that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's still young. And we would race the boat. Hell yeah. Okay, that shit I'm, was fire. This, this has to be... You race buckle cover. This has to be a, a, a innate part of the human condition. Because everybody everywhere in the world will find something to make it into some kind of sport and then just like nerd out about it everywhere. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It, that has to be a part, an innate part of human nature. Like a, you yeah, know, like there's a fan for live, every sport. Every sport. Even ones, except for WNBA. Um, <laughs> wow. Bro, no. Even Hashtag w- hot take. Even women <laughs> don't like the WNBA. No. Even former WNBA players don't like the WNBA. It's slow. Women's soccer or football, whatever you want to call it, is I'm a fan of women's is football. way more fire. Most female versions, I you know me, I'm I'm a fight guy. Most of the female fights in the UFC go hard. Except the it, really tiny ones. It's just something, no, because Yun Yun Jacek's tiny and she used to beat bitches. Yun oh, Jacek, yeah, um, she, she used no. to beat bitches. Oh. I'm talking about like Rose. What size is Rose? Like them crazy. Same, same br- really. Yeah, Rose. So Rose took. So it's Rose basically took, anything below that. I don't Rose fuck took with. the belt off of you, Anna. Anything under one twenty-five, you don't yeah. fuck with. Yeah, like one eighteen, one oh five. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's fair. But yeah, you see, most female sports are pretty interesting. It's just something about the WN. I think it's because it's mostly fundamentals, and like, I want to somebody pulling threes deep or like, slam, like diving over five niggas going with a with a dunk. That, that kind of shit. That kind of superhuman shit. I think that's what it is. I don't know. If you guys have an opinion on this or why is there a the WNBA is... I don't know, but I would probably be fired. It's specifically the WNBA that I don't find interesting in. I don't know why. I mean, I, I don't really find basketball interesting overall, but def- so definitely WNBA is... I'll watch the championships. I'll watch the championships. I don't fuck with baseball at all. What's the female equivalent to that? Softball? Softball. So I sure as hell don't fuck with softball. I don't think I've ever watched I softball. I don't give one mother fuck about netball. And I think it's no, a ridiculous whoa, whoa, sport. Whoa. Netball is fire. No. Netball no. is fire. You cannot tell me Netball there's a ball fire. sport that requires me moving the ball from one end of the field to the next, but I cannot move Net, with the ball. That Netball fool, is fire. That fool, man. That is stupid. I used to and go. It's a tool of colonialism. The only countries that play netball are Commonwealth countries, and the British bring that shit come give it. A fuckery. I, I used to go play um, cricket, however, which is I used it falls under that. I don't know how fire. you going to defend that. Cricket, cricket is, is such fire. shit. Cricket is fire. Cricket is such shit. Fire. You have if a problem. If you understand with... it, you would get it, my G. Cricket is such your shit. Your face is shit, Timmy. Uh, you, so is yours. Is cricket is <laughs> shit. I understand it. Cricket, cricket is, is shit. No, test cricket. Shit. I can't defend that. I cannot defend five days of one game. I can't defend that. Cricket no time, shit. no. Volleyball one is day net international is and 2020, I can't watch that. Bro, I used right. to you go. You said volleyball a while ago? I never really too. appreciate volleyball till I like watch Olympic volleyball. volleyball. Yo, that shit. Vo- I used to, I used to no, play the, volleyball. The so I know how hard that is. Alone, yeah. man. Bro, volleyball is fire, but I think netball is fire. I'm going to defend that mm-hmm. one till the end. I used to go. I will defend cricket. You will defend netball. Yeah. We'll have to agree to disagree. Fair. There we go. Fair. Yeah. Sports of colonialism. <laughs> <laughs> volleyball is fire. Volleyball is yeah. intense. I didn't didn't really pre to like Olympic nah, dog. Especially like sand based volleyball, not hard yeah, floor not volleyball. That That's intense. And I also love the uniform. No, hard floor, hard floor volleyball is ridiculous too because it's like seventeen oh, hell man yeah. hell in this big of a space. Uh huh. And my <laughs> name is Vaulting. Yo, did you see that um that meme joke? I don't remember where it was from, but basically it was a volley a volleyball game, and one dude just kept blocking all the balls with his face. face yeah. <laughs> oh, you guys should go look that up. I oh, did. Nice just, oh damn. Damn. Just look up um plug it into the white base over there. Give it to me. Look up on YouTube, guys. Volleyball spoof. Guy gets hit in the face. Or short shorten it however you want. I promise you, you'll laugh until you cry. I damn near pissed myself laughing at that one. But if that's if slapstick's your kind of humor, you'll fuck with that. What well, 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 the sports? To slapstick humor. Oh, it fell out. It fell Yo, out like parody humor. You know what sports I fuck with? The ones no one fuck with. Yeah, we we know. Like, like you like games, you can't win. No, in terms of, I like sports like that are local to certain places. So, you like sports that are local to certain places. Gaelic sports, such as there's one where they throw a really long stick. You mean the log thing? Mm-hmm. That's fire, though. That's just some strong I niggas doing strong nigga shit. Exactly. <laughs> so I fuck with that. Like, um, it's literally a log the size of a light post, mm. and you see how far you can toss it. Mm. 
Yeah, I, I don't fuck with that. that that's, that's, as Martin says, strong niggas doing strong nigga shit. I love watching the world's strongest man. I was just about to say, I was just about to say, world's strongest man. Like, I, I not only love watching the competition, I thought I. You see so, that old man muscle that I you get when you turn 40? I subscribe to two of them, man, on um, YouTube, their pages. Half Eddie, Thor. Eddie Hall. No, nah, fuck half. Eddie Hall. Ed, Eddie Hall oh, and no, um, Brian Shaw. Doug, just. I'm Britain fast- and America, the top two for like, mm. the last decade. Yeah. I'm mm-hmm. I'm fascinated by just like everything about what goes into being that ridiculously strong from the proportions that them eat, how mm-hmm. often they Dog, have to eat. Their shits must smell oh, so bad. Bro, Eddie Hall. Because of the amount of protein them and they have to eat. Eddie the Hall ate um, for his first breakfast because his day breaks down into... Um, his first breakfast. Yeah, his, his, there's more than one. Yeah, his day breaks down into first breakfast, second breakfast, um, lunch... First dinner, second dinner, supper. For breakfast, for first breakfast, the man knocked out 5,080 calories. He had like six eggs, like a huge, basically a, a full English breakfast on a platter. A full English breakfast that fit that on a platter. Four, yeah, and then oatmeal with a splash of Nutella, which is like two spoons, on, huge spoons on Nutella, um, and like full fat milk and a banana. Like that was breakfast. All the stuff that goes into them mania then, because Eddie Hall has the official world record. We we don't we don't acknowledge Half Thor here. Um, for why you don't acknowledge Half Thor? Because Half Thor set the new world record. Eddie at the old world record was like five. No, it was four seventy five. Eddie put it to five bills. Half Thor comes and does five oh one on an unregulated bar, unregulated weights in his gym and then broadcast it to the world. You're not going to tell me that's not some fugazi shit. Mm, Fuck off. Fair. Eddie Hall did it like regulated bar, regulated weights, regulated meat in front of the world. Half Thor is also six foot nine. So I feel like he just have some unfair <laughs> advantage. Maybe. And being from Iceland, he's part like Viking. So he is the, but Eddie Hall was like the first dog to pull half a ton yeah. off Eddie the Hall, floor. Eddie Hall is a muscle. Yeah, the man pulled half a ton <laughs> off the floor. Put so much effort and force into that lift. You guys can look it up. The man started bleeding from his eyes and his ears. And his eyes, his that iris changed color to like light blue. Bro, the man, the man basically gave himself a concussion from lifting. That's some crazy. And then um, Brian Shaw. He also pulled that plane, didn't he? Most of them have to do that for competition. Mm-hmm. Brian Shaw has the most world's strongest man wins like mm-hmm. of all time. Like him just... He's freakish. a muscle as well. He's just freakishly strong. They're both muscles. The man, um, I was watching a vlog the other day and his neighbors were laughing because they know when him training the keg toss because they'll just they like, no, they'll just look across the like na- oh, the neighborhood and, and you'll just see kegs up. flying above the roof. <laughs> and he has like a three-story house. So he's throwing kegs taller than his house. Full kegs, brother. These men are in, they're not real. They're not real. It's so cool to behold. Uh, that's the only way I can put it because... Strong niggas doing strong niggas shit is crazy, dog. They had a show on Netflix, not Netflix, History Channel, um, World's Strongest Men. It was basically going around and breaking records and whatnot, seeing mm-hmm. if they could do it. I think it was Brian did do uh, weights crossing back full stand up with about 12, like uh, the frame itself is like uh, just under, or I think it was 600 pounds. And then he put like 12 people on it, just 12 regular people. And when him lift on him back, it's swaying because the 12 people are on it. Dog, what? No. A muscle. Strong, a living muscle. Strong nigga doing strong nigga shit. That I is, love it. All right, so. I love it. Yeah, um, you know that like ancient um, Ameri- middle Central American sport, I think the Aztecs used to play with the hoops up on the wall and the, yeah, and them the dense the ball. rubber ball. Yeah. You yeah. know, you, you hit the ball with anything but your hands, right? I didn't know. I don't they know generally the use their hips to hit the to hit a solid rubber ball that weighed like five pounds. Like a cricket ball? Cricket. A cricket ball is made out of um, cork in the middle and then wrapped with cord around it. Ah, okay. Theirs was solid rubber. Where they get... I, I'm just getting that. Oh, are trees. Okay. okay. Latex. Latex. Oh, yeah, from the, the government. Central America. Just, fair. Mm. I got it. I got it, kids. There you go. History. Boom, mm. blast. <laughs> but yeah, they used to have bruises and shit. Just so now, most... So, but there are, there's a game that they play, I think, in Spain um, that's based off or something like that. But they have, or they do it in Mexico too, where there's a, like a hook looking thing and a ball in it and you throw it. 
I think I've seen that before. And like the speed it can get to is like hundreds of miles, <laughs> like over 100 miles per hour. Is like that dense rubber ball? I think so, yeah. Shit. But it's like lacrosse. High lie. High lie. That shit's okay. crazy. Yeah, that's one. I think I know. Lacrosse is also a crazy sport. I really. White people play some really crazy sports. Yo, lacro- lacrosse High is lie. now. Yes. The, the gay guy in Cuba from in Miami. Yes. Uh, Archer reference. Archer reference. For those of you who didn't hear. <laughs> um, I am I'm low key upset because lacrosse is now a sport played in Jamaican high schools. Because if I was it in, is? yeah, niggas at KC play lacrosse, my G. Really? It's a sport played in high school competitively now. I think we're too if, violent if for lacrosse. If I was in high school, you damn straight I'd be playing lacrosse and taekwondo. The stick, lacrosse, taekwondo, swimming, swimming would probably get pushed off to play lacrosse. I'm not even going around you. Dog, lac- lacrosse looks fun. It's you know, they definitely play a white people sport. They play Quidditch at some universities How do you in play America. Quidditch? They hold the broom and run. <laughs> you, you didn't know that one to me? That they have Quidditch at some universities in America? Where they hold the broom and run? They hold the broom and okay, run. Okay. Yeah. Like, so how, how does a snitch work? Original WPS. How does a snitch work? I never looked into it. I, I, I couldn't get past... Drone on a string I couldn't get works. past white people holding the broom and running around a field hey man, playing Quidditch. Hey man, you don't remember I did show you um, the MMA medieval style? You, did, you don't have a mic. <laughs> Timmy said for those who didn't get that, yeah. imagine you showing up with you, a rest of man. Bro. Do you want a mic? <laughs> you can get a mic, you know, it's fine. Bro, me, bro, me. Yeah, you remember I did show you the MMA medieval style where the man them currently, currently in um, Texas is them have a, a ring, like a boxing ring, mm-hmm. dress up in full medieval suits. Oh, like, and beat the fuck out of each other with um, actual weapons, yes. Actual weapons, beating the holy shit out of each other. You remember they show you that? Dog, nah, people bored. Supreme white people shit right there. <laughs> people like bored, backyard bro. backyard wrestling, man. white people. Would you? Backyard wrestling, no. When you're, when you're younger, would you? Yes. As a kid, yeah, fuck yeah. As, As a, kid, a kid, you think you're indestructible. Yeah, no, now we're but adults. At, like, yeah, but that's the problem. People our age and older are still doing it. That's when it becomes white people shit. Nah, I don't know. Yes. When you're a no kid, when you're a kid, I mean, I'm, I'm sure. Seen I think I broke a bed once, like, fucking around. Just jumping around? Yeah, yeah. just jumping wrestling. around. Just jump. no, we used to watch wrestling as kids. No, yeah. I used to, like, like jump off of things onto the bed, like, the bed was soft. So, you know, just see how far you could go. I'm pretty sure one time I did choke and like, one of the legs just said, I'm out. I'm bro. This big bitch keeps trying to <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. Uh, uh, what was I saying? I don't know. We were, talk- we, we, we were talking about the, the hook. Then we were talking about lacrosse. Then we were talking about white people shit. And, um, oh, yeah. I see pictures of people doing the, lock, the, the ski jump. You ever seen that one? Like the high jump in, at like the Winter Olympics where they go down the huge ramp and then just go flying off into yeah, fuck Yeah, but nose. I know that's an official sport. I'm waiting on you to make it like worse. No. That crazy. Oh, okay. Why I thought, I thought you were saying would people you... were doing that like in their backyards. No, I was why the so fuck concerned. would you do that? Overall. It looked cool. I mean, I wouldn't do it. You nigga, you just... And then, man them, and then what? Hold, man them try hold the thing. The, hold the um, V. Hold, hold the V with the skis and yeah. just glide through the air so far you can go. And land. That's no. sick. You're flying hundred. There's no safety, nothing in a bad. That's sick. You I wouldn't take do it. off for that ramp. I wouldn't you know, do it, but I definitely enjoy you, watching. You're supposed to go do straight it. down the middle. You catch that panangle enough. <laughs> oh, now somebody had you gone in you know, a brother. Like, <laughs> sorry. Why the man have to say it? So he's not wrong. So why the man have to say like it? It's like illusion. So? Now nah, catch me, I do a Yo, luge. I totally would illusion. And then I luge totally. gets worse because you can the skeleton. Which is losing, but head down. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> head first losing. Downhill. The first thing that meets any impediment is your face. No. <laughs> Absolutely. The t- name skeleton Absolutely. for a reason. See? You know, I'm not even going to lie. I have white people tendencies because like, I'd go skydiving. I would also go skydiving. Oh, hey, what's up? White people tendencies. White people tendencies. Yeah. I'd go okay. skydiving. Bungee jumping, no? Something, not doing so- that shit. Something about I it. saw Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Something about bungee jumping. I mean, bungee jumping should it should Hillary be the less Banks ex- will you marry? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bungee jumping though is a less extreme uh-uh. version of skydiving if you look at it logically. But for some reason, I'd be way cooler skydiving than bungee jumping. There is a group of people in New Guinea, I think, or Vanuatu, somewhere in those small islands in the Pacific, 
that actually practice a form of ritual bungee jumping. But they use vines. They build a really tall, rickety-ass wooden structure. They get these strong vines out the jungle that basically are as long as the tower. So when you jump, it's, it, it stops like just before the ground. But then you still hit the ground. But not enough to kill you. What, and what? like it's a what? thing. But so you're supposed to hit the ground? Yeah. But that's it doesn't, it's not like it don't stop you like a foot off the ground. It stops you on the ground. But no. <laughs> but no. It's a thing to do. But that don't make... Well, I mean, I'm, let me not judge culture. Well, no, fuck it. That no. <laughs> no, it's like the other culture. It's, it's like the culture where you're not a man until you've put... The man, they make um, a oh, mitten. The yeah, they make a mitten out of banana leaves and then put hundreds of bullet ants in it and you're supposed to wear that on your hand for a couple of hours and for those of you who don't know a bullet ant one of the most painful feelings people can feel the in the world literally feels like it hurts for yeah it feels like you've been shot it hurts for about eight hours before the searing blood curdling pain subsides and then subsides listens and the man is supposed to just be wearing this for hours and you're not and, supposed to bitch out and you're not supposed to bitch out supposed to hold your hand off you're supposed to just wall it and if you don't do that you're not a man a tier bitch right here Because I ain't doing that I ain't doing that bad man No yeah, they're, they're, they're manly, manlier men than I Yeah bro Is that the other people Who their village Worship the crocodile So oh, they so get the, the So skin. they get the scarified Where like hundreds of scars mm-hmm. On themselves To look like crocodiles And mm-hmm. a lot of times People go into shock During that process Because mm-hmm. of how painful it is mm-hmm. No I'm okay You know what You know what I'm okay with the Jamaican requirement To be a real man Boss, boss, go and fuck y'all have fun. I'm okay with that. I'm working yeah, on it. Yeah, busy signal pretty much got it done. Smoke weed. Fuck y'all. Boss, boss gun. gun. Have, have fun. fun. I'm okay with that. It's pretty much the requirements of a Jamaican man. Yeah, that and take really long to get married. Like, have you have, have your girl, you and her have 10 picnic and then like when on it start fall Just apart. Just before you die. You're like, Yo, yeah, you when know. the relationship is on its last legs and she's about to leave you. You... I shouldn't laugh. But something that, something that was telling me, Safira people take 27 years. Tyrone? Yeah. Oh, ah, after 27 years. In my years, head, though, in a bad man, what's the fucking point? That's what I was about <laughs> to say. I was, like, about to, what's the, I was about to say, yeah, right? Nothing after, changes. After 27 all, all you've years. All you don't know is sign a document that gets the government involved in your relationship. In your shit. And somehow, when you sign that document, is when it all falls apart. But the leading cause of divorce is marriage. marriage. Never forget that. <laughs> you've been together for 27 years. You've raised kids. You have a home. They're now them growing them out of the them, ass. Yeah, they don't even live with you no more. Yeah, you, you have a full family. You've lived a life. What's the, What's point? the point? You know, I, Tim, Timothy said it earlier, and it's probably just to subside the arguments. It's probably just to subside. But after 27 just years. Just to stop asking. Like, after right, 27 fine. years, you're not immune to that. Uh, you never. You, do you think you ever get immune to a woman's nagging? Twenty-seven years or the do same question. Do you think you ever get immune to a woman's nagging? I know. How long an- your parents been married? I know the answer is no. I know. How long your parents married and does your mother still get her way? <laughs> I, Minerva don't nag to get her way. Minerva just says a and we go ah. Uh, <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, basically, <laughs> like, I, the big, we know who the big dog yes, is. Sir, Minerva, sir. Uh, Minerva's a jump who's at how oh, high, sir. Like we understand how this house runs. <laughs> nagging wise, though. Oh God, yo, one time, grand, um, Shamar and Grandma. Sorry if I told this story before, guys. One time, Grandma and Shamar were in the kitchen at her house, and um, she was washing. He was washing. Give her, she dry, and she was putting up, and she go put up a plate, and the plate slip and drop. And grandpa, quick, quick, running out of the kitchen and look and so say, she dropped the plate. I'm going to be glad that you drop it. Okay, if you never drop it, if anybody else, you wouldn't left me alone for the night. When I tell her, I laughed. <laughs> she then like went into her room, locked the door and we didn't see her for the rest of the night. But here's the thing. Grandpa can't cook. Grandpa come look for me and go, work and make supper. Well, look for him and go. What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> We're kids. <laughs> But I'm pretty sure that he would agree with your sentence. But I'm, I also agree. I don't think you ever get immune to the nagging of your girl. If she matters. Because the minute something don't matter to me, it could nag me all it want. I don't care. As long as you care, it, it'll, you won't get immune to it. Fair. The minute you stop caring, the minute you get immune to the nagging, you have a big red flag. Yeah. Big red flag. Real Here, talk. There you go. That, there you go, kids. Relationship hey. advice from the <laughs> Bamcast. <laughs> from one guy who's in a healthy relationship and a single dude. <laughs> and t- Tinder's biggest fun. Hey, that was years ago. <laughs> we don't do that anymore. All right. Yo, 
People still use that though? Tinder? Tado telling me about it today. You think Jamaica have a grinder scene? Yeah. I know this for a fact. Hmm. I know this for a fact. I've heard stories. Oh, jeez. I was saying this. No, I was saying this the other day. Duh. The dog went bumbo club. No, because I was saying this the other day, brother. <laughs> like, the, 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 the. Man straightforward, generally, when them are local, man. Like, yo, man, look you. Especially Jamaica, man. Yo, man, look you. Imagine that energy, mate. Yo, man, I look you. Oh, man, I look you too. Life half easy on that side, you know. Come on. You're not going to tell me that one of them going immediately like start playing the choir role. I mean, there's, there's, there's quite a big um, downside to, the, to that being the upside, <laughs> though. Is, is all I'm seeing. I was just talking about that. I'm, I'm, just, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just I'm saying. Just saying. <laughs> to be in that situation, to, to, to um, benefit from that upside would mean that later on there's quite a, a downside that I don't necessarily want for myself. So... <laughs> Um, I'm not sure I can partake in this um this hypothetical. <laughs> Yo, why are these jokes? Uncle so Joey fun? said it best. <laughs> what did I say? Uh, Uncle Joey. No. Oh, oh no, 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 Joey no, no, no. Diaz. Yeah, yeah. We're not. We're not. We're not. We're not repeating that one. The, even that way too like off offline uh, for here. Like yo, yo, Joey used to go off, you know, brother. Yo, man, name. Or whoever watching the pod, just type in Joey Diaz, bad for your health. <laughs> You'll get the joke completely. <laughs> and after you're done, if you want some more jokes, just type in Joey Diaz, blue cheese. You know oh, what I mean? yeah. It's blue cheese with wings or go fuck your mother. Yo, that was, man said, that's the new shirt. <laughs> <laughs> new shirt. Blue he, cheese with wings or go fuck your mother. The man meant that with him whole soul to, you know, dog. Like, the man, the man said, um, if, if you fuck up pork fried rice I don't need to do business with you You know what I mean If, if, if I go to the restaurant And I ask for wings And you serve with ranch I'm going to wait Until the order reach And get up and leave <laughs> <laughs> That's how hard the man was The man does not oh. Deal with ranch The man says Ranch is for people Who like the taste Of someone's ass In your mouth all day Wow. I don't it's know like, if I agree with that because I, I, I ranch like ranch and I don't like that and I don't I don't know if I like yeah, that yeah there's that because I haven't I, I feel haven't, like I don't like that I haven't gotten to that part of my life yet but it doesn't sound like something I'd enjoy I don't know I remember somebody saying that coconut water tastes like it been in somebody else's mouth <laughs> yeah, and I can't stop thinking about yeah. that because it's true let me tell you, that, <laughs> fu- that, that, that fucked me up on bottled coconut water for a while. <laughs> yeah, no, it, like, it just tastes like up. water that's been in somebody else's mouth. I like coconut looks water. like water that's been in somebody else's mouth. Yeah, the texture, it just... I, I like don't... coconut water, right? But like that's when, one of those things I wish I didn't know. Ah, when, when somebody, <laughs> did, when the, whoever they pointed that out to me, I was like, fuck, you fucked up bottled coconut water. Before me. Like, co- normal coconut is fine. Because If you see it coming out, out of the of coconut. coconut, right? <laughs> so... In the thing that happened on Twitter the other day where um, Matt Camps and a couple other people the lizard, got, the, the got lizard, they ordered Popeyes and they were like lizards, like small lizards in the lettuce of the, um, the Popeyes or whatever. That day, I shit you not, I was on my way to Popeyes to get lunch, saw the tweet and since then I haven't bought fast food. Really? No, I don't know what I don't know. I was just like, all right, cool. I'll be cooking my house for a while. Like I easy yeah. for scanting. Save your money, I guess. Yeah, you know. I spend it on Sprite. <laughs> I am really problem. I love Sprite. I am You're really easy to score in things, right? Remember they tell you I did dash a cup one time because Lisa did curl in it. <laughs> I score I mean, in things I, easy, dog. It's as someone who has like worked in a commercial food kitchen. Like, yeah. I don't 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 tell me the horror stories, No, but that's that. the thing. That's why like I I st- I, <laughs> I'll still take the risk. Like, did you know that the FDA has a... Give me like a, a week. I'll be back. The FDA has a, a list of like the allowable amount of animal parts that can be in your food. You know? Like how much insect can be in... Oh, yeah, I know that. <clears throat> so like, like chocolate. Yeah. When they do chocolate at a farm and they spread it out in the sun to dry out and ferment and everything, insects will be in it. Yeah. They can't go through it and take it out before they make the food. So there is an acceptable amount of insect within your food product. I knew that. Some, I'm, <laughs> I'm okay with like some insects and so not okay with others. Oh, all right. So Crickets. Cool. When, we, when we get to that point of food insecurity, when we actually have to start eating insects as a major part of our diet. I ain't eating roaches, my nigga. 
Fine. I'll die first. But you'd be okay with that, the crickets and the grasshoppers. I've had crickets and grasshoppers like before. F- insects raised for food. I've had crickets and grasshoppers before. Yes, yes ma'am. Let me ask the last question. What about vegans? What about vegans? Could vegans eat? No, it's a, like, or should we eat the vegans? The chocolate. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. The sorry. chocolate <laughs> you're talking about. That's just a, that's a evil the accept. The chocolate is vegan safe. No. Well, it, most mm. food have acceptable parts of bug in it. That's just a fact. Even so vegan chocolate. Vegan, vegan it, is a lie. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's all I want to take us across. Yeah. Yes. Veganism also, like, I'm, if you're offended by this, deal with it yourself. Um, <laughs> deal with it Vegans yourself. don't make sense to me. Not at all. Vegetarians, I can understand. Because at the very least, there is an animal um, relatedness. There are herbivorous animals who only eat vegetables. So we as animals, okay, you want to be a herbivore, do your thing, Maji. Your pancreas don't, sorry, not your pancreas, your appendix doesn't work anymore, so you can't digest cellulose, but all right, cool, that's what you want to do, you just want to shit all the time. I don't mind vegetarianism. Vegans make no sense sense. to me, because there is no animal in existence that does not eat animal products. Life. Life eat life. Even plants, even plants eat and not eat, but use nutrients from decompose, bro- decompose yeah. stuff that they have um, nitrogen fixing bacteria on their roots to break down the byproducts so that they can then ingest that, and then that's how they get a lot of their nitrogen. All life eat life. Not, I won't say eat. Life consumes, consumes life. So every vegan to me is nothing sense. in the world. But a super privileged person just, with nothing yeah. but them. You're just a consumer who's been tricked. You fully bought into the lie of veganism. You trend, you, right. you trend the lifestyle. And Al- then, hold almond on, hold, milk. Hold on, pause. Mm-hmm. And then I wouldn't even have a problem with vegans. Almonds good, don't like, have nipples. I wouldn't even have a problem with vegans. Go do your things. But every vegan, for some reason, that I've met is super self-preachy. And that just makes me want to tell you to go fuck yourself. Do you yeah. get? Generally. If you preach, I'm going to tell you. like people who do CrossFit. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, but yeah, so vegans, like, they're just, I was saying almond milk. One of the major things they use. I as like a, almond as milk, a, but it's almond water. Almonds are, oh, California had a major drought a couple of years ago that lasted a couple of years. It was really dire. There was no water all over the state, right? Mm-hmm. You know where it still had water? Where? The almond farms. Almond farms use like 90% of California's water or some crazy shit like that. Like something ridiculous. Why? Because almonds have to be watered all year round. So, Money keeping talk. the almond industry afloat. So, even during the drought and everything, the almond farms still had water while regular farmers were suffering. Because the almond make were... Make money. Yeah, more and profitable. Now you make, you do all these value-added products from almonds. There's going to be more almond production needed. More water intensive agriculture. Europe. At a time where, because of climate change, we're facing growing water insecurity all over the fucking planet. Europe. What money have to make? Ex- everything about the vegan lifestyle is about making money. That's why everything in it is so fucking expensive. You do not have a gluten sensitivity. You do not need to be eating gluten free food. Gluten is not inherently bad for you. Gluten is a protein. I only had to like. Monitor gluten for uh, two weeks once when my um, antibiotic did shock my body. So my, like, everything was cleaned out. So I was taking probiotics and I had to pre that. So you have to be sick to need that, like to pre yeah. that. So it's literally, not- unless you have a gluten sensitivity and there are people who like people who have celiac disease that can't digest it and it will literally ferment inside of them. Yeah. And you, you get have drunk to have off a, of bread. You have to have a disease like to that. need that. Yeah. To, other than that, you don't need to avoid gluten. Gluten don't make you fat. Bread makes Carbs you fat. make you fat. <laughs> the carbs in the bread is what's making you fat. The car- Not the gluten in the bread. The carbs and the long-term blogging about gluten yeah. sensitivity is what makes you fat. It's also, not- white bread, really fucking bad for you. Brown bread is just white bread that's dyed brown. Or it's at, least, at the very least, it's not bleached to white. Unless it's genuine whole wheat where you can like see the grains in it. It's and just y'all as ain't bad. Convin- I have a question. I've always, I've always wondered this, right? How they make sliced bread? Hold on. I've always wondered this. I've always wondered this. <laughs> right? No, no, no. I, I, know, I heard, I heard him say bake, it, bake by it by the slice. Yeah, and I but, like that answer. Yeah, we're going to leave that. Um, <laughs> yeah, but um, say so yeah, vegans suck. Um, 
We all agree. Vegetarians. I have no problem with vegetarians. You're okay. Ovo lacto vegetarians. Okay, whatever. I have a problem with like people who eat the strict carnivore diet because we already eat me as a person who Yeah, no, we eat me, too much. Me meat. as a person who thoroughly enjoys eating love, the food meat. Love. Um I also enjoy eating the meat between the sheet. Oh, definitely, but I just I just want to specify that, you know, like food. Um I can fully admit we eat too much meat. I Martin David, I eat too much yeah. meat. I don't need meat with every meal. I have it with every it's meal. Nice though. I don't, I don't need it every <laughs> meal. People who um like go to straight carnivore diet where it's just hundred percent no, meat. That's, that's crazy. Ooh, that's why shit stink and your intestines are rotting. And you smell like um nitrates. You yeah. smell stinky. No, your piss um, is, is fucking fluorescent. <laughs> you should stop. You know, it's really shit that like just by going to the supermarket to buy your food, you're a part of factory farming. Which, if you really want to have a problem with meat consumption, pre-factory farming. That's horrific. Free-ranged animals, farmed animals, um, go hunt your own meat kind of vibe. I'm totally cool with But Factory farming even, just, even just I, who enjoy just, meat, uh, can tell you that, dog, you're not supposed to have things growing in a place where they've never seen the sky, and then you put them in like um, a, a little... box their size. And then after that, you basically like just slide them up so a piston can just mash them head in and then just keep it moving. Mm -hmm. Like, you're not supposed to do... Here's a real good example of like how we fuck things up. Pig... The other white meat, pork, the other white meat. Wild boar is red meat. We've, we've farmed the, the pink out of the meat. Just like with wild, well, with salmon. That they die to be pink. Factory farming really ain't it, you know. But how else do you feed seven plus billion people? The healthiest meat that you can eat is free range goat meat. Warm to fall, fall nice in a dog. And yard fall, clean up Fat. everything. Fatty. I'm okay with that. Not as in health, health wise, oh, pure nutrient we're talking about. Goat meat. Free range goat, but ain't nobody eats free range goat because that shit. Drink and jai and tough. All right, hold on though. What about also, what? local goat meat is extremely expensive. What about goat meat? Make it, what about free range goat make it so healthy? Nutrients. Just, just the meat and the lack of fat and oh, it, what they eat. Does it have the lack of fat like rabbits? Because, fun fact, listeners, um, if you were to eat a diet of only rabbit, you'd start from malnutrition because there's not enough nutrient content in the meat. It too, it's too lean if you, would ha if you think about it like that. It goes just not like that. No. Not at all. It's just really Bigger animal that think they have a, what they eat, they get mm. more nutrients, I guess. Mm. Is my theory. I don't. I... Rabbit does. But, um, what's, what's, the, what's the term? Um, bioaccumulation. Mm. Oh God, elephant supposed to like last you forever. But thankfully we don't eat elephant. I don't think, do, is there a culture of there elephant that eat elephant? Would nice. Is there a culture? I'm going to Google that. I got elephant steak. I'm going to Google that. Keep talking for can a minute. Can you make elephant liver? I'm sure you can. I'm sure you can. Fuck, I wish, yo, you know it's crazy that in, in North America, the modern USA, um, white people, the white settlers, colonizers, the, the hollow people, they... Nice. In, in order to drive off the Native Americans and starve them out, they actually decided to kill off their food source, food source, which was the North American bison. And they actually basically eradicated the creature from the continent of North America. Mm. All right. Just so for the fuck of it, not to eat it, just so that the Native Americans couldn't get it. I know, I mean, that's not surprising. <clears throat> All right, so uh, elephant, the edible parts of elephants that people consume would be the trunk and the tongue. Um, after a good long simmering, they... So the meat. After a good... I'm gonna finish. After a good long simmering, they start to resemble the hump of a buffalo and maybe taste something like the tongue of an ox. All the other meat is tough and has a very peculiar flavor only to be eaten by an excessively hungry man. So apparently they don't, they're not very good. They're not very good eating. It's like snakes, I guess. Range. I wonder what elephant meat even looks like. I remember watching that video of a man barbecuing an uh, ostrich. It looked like a person. It looked like a person. It looked like, like a person. The pale skin, the, the yellow fat, the, the, the redness of the meat. It, but that shit, they look like it tastes good. No, I disagree. That shit look like it tastes horrible. Uh, they look like it tastes good. I wouldn't eat ostrich now. I'd shell um, ostrich omelette though. That gotta be, nah, that gotta ostrich. slap. I, I typed in elephant meat and there ain't even pictures. Now I know I'm on someone's radar. <laughs> <laughs> it's like um, donkey meat is really big in the East. Um, um, but it has a really unfortunate name. Like yeah. what we call cow beef. I don't call it donkey poopy. meat is called poopy. Yeah. I ain't buying no poopy. No, not a Ross. But didn't people eat donkey meat in Jamaica for a while? Or was that a, 
Um, them, I, so them said, them said Donkey and your party. And yeah, them yeah, I don't that know exactly, if it was exactly what I heard. Thing. Yeah, I don't know if that was, was confirmed. Like, oh, them or used not. to make jokes about horse being in the in the burgers because you don't know what is in a burger because all minced meat. And but then it I turned would, out that it was true. But in I would Britain say the thank you. Horse meat good <clears> for you. Yeah, but basically there's no accepted standard. I guess in in that case you are buying a beef burger. So you're expecting all beef. Mm. The fact that there's something else in it means it's not what's being sold to you. Mm-hmm. It's I fraud. get, I get that part. So, but horse tastes but good in in Britain. Horse steaks taste good. Just yeah, saying, but a I've lot had... of people have a, just a, a mental stigma against it because I'm only say horses as things that people ride. Working animal, not eating animal. Right. Only reason why we eat cow and not horse more locally is because cow can ride them. Basically, <laughs> horses who can get work out of them. Mm-hmm. Was it? But the French eat horse, and I've had a horse steak and horse steak. Slap. I really would like to eat horse. It's it has more nutri- It's more nutrient dense than beef. Put it put it this way: you stay full for a while. I'd really like to try it. It's very. Red. I also want to try guinea pig. <sighs> I would there. try guinea pig, but you remember the f- what they call it in, in Peru again? I don't remember, but you remember how we saw how they served the guinea pig, like with the, the head, and, with the head yeah. and all, like just roast it whole and just decapitate it. Chop off the head. If you chop off the head, I could pretty much, I, I could, I could box that down. It's right. seeing the head on the guinea pig with mash milk. Just like how I don't particularly like seeing the head of like, um, what you call it when you have the whole pig roasting. Mm-hmm. So pig. I don't particularly like seeing the oh, head of the succulent pig though. Yeah. I don't know. Some of the head for I, me. Me personally, you know, and I, I don't, feel I, about I don't, food, I, so. I don't, I don't eat head meat either. I believe in root to t- um what them call it snout to tail yeah. eating a rooter to the snooter yeah the whole the whole animal should be eaten as much as, as to the best that you can like bones eat, bones can make broth I don't skin. eat head, I don't eat head meat and I don't mm. eat the foot of any animal yeah I eat pig trotters I eat cow foot I eat chicken foot nah I'm I'm I'm, I'm good on that never had goat foot I don't know if that's a thing that people have <laughs> I mean they roast the foot and put it in manish water I mean they put everything in manish water. Love man. Well, that's, that's why you don't ask what's in the manish. I don't like. No, manish I watch water. them make it. I've know. I've seen people make manish water, so I know what is in there, and I'm, I'm okay. I you know I love organ meat, so yeah, I love I know, manish water. You'll pretty much eat anything. If mm. life got really as hard, as long as somebody else ate it before and it got never fucked really them up, hard, I'm pretty sure you'd size us up. Oh no, people. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. No, there's so many other things before I got the people. Months I don't want to get the, the something there, the prions, dog, the mad cow disease. Kuro, kuro. Yeah, the kuro, kuro. I don't want my brain to get holes. Just like, mm, uh, uh. Mm, yeah, like, so sick. That's not, well, not sick in a good way, but you know what I mean. That that's what caused mad cow disease because you're feeding cows, all cows. the cows. Who got and sick? Who got sick? And it was ground them up into cow feed. And, and like, like, right, cool, let's just feed it. Let's to not waste cows. it. And then when you open the skull of the cow and you pre them brain, you're like, oh God, there are holes in there. Why? Because we're feeding them themselves. You sick fucks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> who, who was like, oh God, the cow is dead. Fuck it. Just grind it up and put it in the rest of it for yeah. them. Who thought that up? And then who? Like, hey, we were going to eat it anyway. Who, all right. So the person who thought that up is sick. The person who went, that's a good fucking idea. You're doubly sick. And then the workers who did it, I feel for you because I paycheck. But dog. You remember American Gods, um, the guy who was working with Vulcan, um, was the head of a butcher, a place that made cow Bullets. products. Uh, was it Vulcan? Wasn't Vulcan guns? And the smithing? The smithing? Oh, so who was working with? Some, there was some guy who was in charge of a place that killed cows, a slaughterhouse. And as he ate his lunch, the, he turned on the radio to listen to the sounds from the that slaughter was, floor. That was the, the, the death god. I don't remember what he's really called. And the man, yeah, man was the killing death. the cows with a sledgehammer. Basically like um, the Hades or, the, or that, mm-hmm. that show. But the guy, so the guy who owned the company that the death god was working at, he, when he was eating him lunch, a yeah. rare steak, yeah, I remember he that. turned the radio to the, the to, slaughter floor to, to listen, listen to, to the, the slaughter. Being killed, uh. Yeah, because that, that, that got him off. Well, he was the death god. So oh, over no, it wasn't the death god I was listening. Who was it? It was just the guy who owned the company. Remember, the death oh. god was actually down there oh. beating the cow's heads in with the sledgehammer. Oh, that makes it even worse. Yeah, um, Peter Stormare played him. That made it Quality yeah. actor. Oh, that show is so good. That First show season. Is I really so need good. to watch the second and third. I have Amazon. There's a third? I have Amazon Plus in there. There's a third? Yeah. Okay, I need to binge binge. I, I need. I haven't. Plus, uh, I haven't watched after we watched that first season, and that first season was magical. For might those have of been you, the acid. might have been, but it was also fun. It was. It was really good. <laughs> it, also, it blew my mind in certain ways. I wish it didn't. Yo, <laughs> we spoke about that the other day. Um, why you, Carrie watched American Gods. Why are you talking about this with Carrie? No, because she watched American Gods, so she she felt this. All right, basically, what happened? This is a very long conversation. How it happened at work the morning. Samantha, I said something to Samantha and Samantha said to me to go suck myself. So I said, no, I can't reach. So then I went around the back. 
it made me think. I went around the back and I said to the, the two other workers around there, I said, I can ask you a very strange question. <laughs> if you ever walked into your room, into a room and you saw your significant other sucking, sucking his own, own penis, how would you react? You'd like, have to leave. Is it gay? Yes. There's a dick in your mouth. So one of them go, yeah. And the next one go, it's your own penis. It's a dick in your so mouth. So they were split right there. And then I go, all right, cool. Can you come in your own mouth? No. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. It's, whoa. It's yours. So they both said, nah, that gay. When you're back in your face, you come on yourself intentionally? No, nothing, not on purpose. So, same I, rules. Bro, God, I also, I'm not sucking my own dick. I don't know. I can't. <laughs> but you would if you could. You, no, no, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> Your daughter? That is not what I'm saying. This nigga sucks. I would not suck my own dick. I don't, it's like, t- I feel like it's tickling yourself. I just don't feel like it would work. I just, <laughs> you know what you're going to do. I don't there feel like is it would a, work. Um, there's a dude who used to be on Bam Margera's show. By the way, he's about to finish the Kerry story, but he can suck his own dick and he has said that it, it, it's more work than it is pleasure. I must be because you're folding yourself in half. <laughs> but so anyway, so yeah, so I, it was just that when I saw <laughs> Carrie later that evening, I just posed the same question to her because she was talking about American gods. Yeah, actually, stepmother, yo, would it be gay if you suck your own, if you caught, you, uh, if you if caught, you caught someone dick? sucking your own dick? Like, is it gay? Like, just hypothetically, is it gay to suck your own dick? Yes. She said no. <laughs> Guys, but- comment below if you're watching this on YouTube. Let us know what you think. <laughs> she said no, but de- she's like, yeah, if you come in in your own mouth, that gay. That gay. Everybody agrees on that. Come in in your mouth is gay. It's the line. That's the line. You see this line Some people here? are split. You can suck it's your own the dick. line. If some say you can't. Everybody says you can't come in your own mouth. that gay. Cut that gay. Here we go. Those are the facts. But anyway, so... <sighs> That's when American Gods came up. She mm. said that her mind was blown because she did not know the same thing you didn't know. No, that shit blew my mind, bro. <laughs> that shit wholeheartedly blew my mind. She know? was like, I didn't know niggas could do that. She did not know a man could fuck in missionary. I didn't know niggas could do that, dog. And I remember like watching the show with Martin the day Martin stopped and looked at me like, dog, that can. Oh, that. He literally looked at me with genuine confusion in the face. Oh, that work. I didn't, I didn't. It's know. like in his head, it's just all dick right there. So there's no like, way. I just. You pfft. have to turn around. <laughs> <laughs> the whole front is just dick. Dick and balls. <laughs> he, he never considered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. It is apparently a mind blowing thing to a lot of people. I mean, to be fair, I, I didn't never really. Know. I never I thought did. about it. I didn't but when know. I saw it um, in American Gods, I was like, okay, I guess. <laughs> I didn't have to stop and look and I was like, wait, hold on. Wait. <laughs> oh, hold on, that can And then work. like it got worse because when the dog did boss in the next you there was like you saw this like, fog this, this this fog like, animation sparkles. type of shit. And I was just there going, like the fuck where I watch that. And then like I But felt, that's not the scene that made Martin have to go bathe. No, the scene like I, I literally had I had, a shit. I had so spoiler alert. Dog. Um the main character, his wife dies. I won't tell you how. You should really go watch it. It's really fun. What should I do? A dick in her mouth. Anyway, um, she comes back from the dead. She died with a dick in her mouth. Yeah. She comes back from the dead and she has embalming fluid and all that stuff in you. And you know that you get stopped up when you die. I mean, when they put you together at the mortuary, they saw all the holes should see not leaking everywhere and whatnot. So she had to go take a poop to clear it all out. It is the most disgusting sound design I have ever had the displeasure of hearing in my life. Like, I Martin had to go pause I, the show and went to bed. I had to go <laughs> I'm not even joking. Like it's him the shit. I'm not even joking. I had to go to bed. I felt dirty. <sighs> Listening, like, just hearing that scene, I felt dirty. I had to go. I, at Baba so compass. <laughs> and he said, What are you doing? I'm like, I went to bed. And he thought I was joking. And I went to bed. No, I went to- <laughs> It was disgusting. Dog. Nah, but to be fair, the sound design, whoever works on the sound for that scene, oh, good job. Good, no, I hate, I hate, good oh, fucking I hate, job. That I hate was the wettest, that was the nastiest, nastiest shit fuck. I had ever heard in my that's life. That was the nastiest thing I ever heard in my life. Like, like, I've heard a lot of nasty shit like that. That sound so bad, I know it's, 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 it's like the word squelch. I smelled like, it from the sound, how bad it was. Like, dog, dog, dog. 
And then there's just one other time like she was doing something and a maggot fell out of her and I was just like, brother, come and on. Her fucking arm to drop off. And, and she was just there walking around in it and like a maggot fell out of there. I said, dog, come on, can we bring this bitch back to life? <laughs> <laughs> like she's just rotting in front of her. Yeah, just slowly, like just slowly rotting and falling apart. Yeah, and said, and like yo, that little subtle things in the show, you know, as time progresses, more flies follow her. Yeah. At first, you had no flies, and then, and then it was like one and two, and then just, just like swarms because she's a decaying body walking around. Crazy. Ah, oh, that, that shows really. Good. I really should watch the rest of the season. Yo, you remember that transition where it went from the key going into the keyhole, the turning map, into the map? The map, to map. The key. Oh, yep. brother. Yep. Yeah, man. That show. That show slapped, bro. That should, should change your I, life. That, bro, it's changed how you say something for true. I watched Vinland Saga doing that same shit too, which is probably why I rate Vinland Saga so much. Man, it really does make shows pop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's no other way to say it. Don't do drugs, kids. Give them Give an eye. eye. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> so, yo, it's. Um, I found mushrooms the other day, you know. Uh, yeah, and no, I meant to look at it, but I had. I have, Looking at them won't do anything. There are three doses, each in individual Ziploc bags, within a larger Ziploc bag, and within that Ziploc bag was a packet of silica gel to keep it dry. Right. You so know what? I Give me them. feel like. You know what I'm giving them? They should be good. You can't take shrooms. Why? Because yeah. I have responsibilities. You have a child. I don't know. You don't have four hours. Microdosing. You know what I'm giving me one? I take one dose a day. You know I'm going to make some tea. No, you're supposed to take like really tiny parts if you get microdose. Like not a dose a day, like a tenth of a dose. This is how you microdose. Not good, not. You're not supposed to have the, the effect of the... No, I don't want to go... Yeah, you're not supposed to have that. You're supposed to be like a very... A little bit of... Very subtle like... It's like meth. What? Like it give you that boost. Never Isn't that what it's any, supposed to do? Never refer to anything like meth to me again. I'm just <laughs> never do that again. I was Isn't like, no, that what, what microdose is supposed to do? Give you a little bump? And it gives you a boost and it supposedly like makes things just flow differently. It supposedly makes you more productive. So I, right, I don't yeah. know. I'm, I'm I don't think anything about <laughs> meth is good. Stop saying this. Say coffee is I'm anything. I'm not saying meth is good. I'm just saying when people do meth, they clean. <laughs> they have energy. They are focused. When people do the pharmaceutical versions of meth, like, um, Rit- not Ritalin. What's the one for ADHD? I can't remember right now. It'll come back to my mind soon. But- Addies. Yeah. But that- Adderall. Adderall. That makes you like, you'll just get up and go clean. I think meth makes you think you have buzzing in your teeth. Bees in your teeth. I yeah. think so. Why? What? Dog, you're like bees in you're, the you're, you're a baby, Be, you know. Bees in the trap. You're a baby, bees you know. Dog. In the trap. Be, you have to trouble something. Track. Yeah, I'm pretty sure meth makes you think you have bees in your teeth. That's why I'm they, sure it does. But that's I'm why they don't have any teeth. One of the side effects of it is you get a lot of energy. Like I remember that so you do bad things with. Hawaii has a really big meth problem. Really? Yeah. Word. Fun fact, drug problems you might not know about. Hawaii has a really big meth problem. Why Norway meth? has a huge heroin problem. Why meth? I, I don't know. Probably cheap. and Like the, I fully get heroin over meth. dirty fucking white people who went over there to colonize it probably brought it with them. Yeah, I, I, Hawaii, I feel it for you. If a white person about. spoke about any other race, the way you talk about white people, we'd have to hang them. Yes, because they are systematically in power. I'm just saying it's funny. We aren't. <laughs> it's always Down so with funny. The system. That's kind of what, what you're allowed to do. That <laughs> it's so the funny. system can't go. Oh, it's so hard. You guys are so mean to me. <laughs> but they do. <laughs> you're the system. <laughs> they do, and they get so mad. Fuckers. You're being racist against me. So yeah, and and your yeah. your entire existence holds me down. Hold your hold your meth topic big for a second. I just want to, I just want to point um jump on this tangent and we'll come back i absolutely loathe Seth of genuvia thank you <laughs> thank you sir i absolutely loathe the concept that black people can't be racist oh no that's such a stupid you know who says that anybody can be racist <laughs> Maybe you can't be systematically racist. We all agree there. But any motherfucker on this planet I can be racist. I personally don't right. consider I myself a racist. That topic. I am, however, definitely prejudiced against certain groups. And that I is because of my socialization. That sentence. Anybody um, can be racist. Beliefs. You self-righteous cunts. I, yeah. 
Oh, I racist. Met, though, that shit ain't. Uh, I, I hate every race equally, if that makes it better. <laughs> it's like I'm anti peopleist. Yeah, it's, it's people <laughs> that I have a problem with, generally. I don't care about your color, you walk on two foot, fuck you. Yeah, fuck you. Like, I let God sort it out. Like, I don't give a fuck. Oh, I can't live on let God sort it out. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Um, so, yeah, so oh, huge meth with, problem. Yeah. And I was watching uh, something on Nat Geo about it. And I brother say, yo, the first time him do meth, him never sleep for three days. What? And like, when he eventually ran out of things to clean in the house, he started cleaning outside the house. <laughs> and it got so bad, he was vacuuming the lawn. <laughs> I was just like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> and then I found out like years later that, you know, where else they use a lot of meth? Where? North Korea. Makes sense. I found that out because I was something about weed. There are, two, there are a couple of places in the world where weed grows naturally. The Swat Valley, the Swat? Yeah, the SWAT, Swat Valley in Afghanistan. It grows wild and it also grows wild in North Korea. People don't use it in North Korea though because it's not, it's looked down upon because it slows you down. They do, however, use a lot of meth because meth gives you energy. Energy to work. What, what's happening? Okay. That bulb might be going. No, no, no. no. no we'll wrap Flights up. are champagne. Yeah, we'll still wrap up. Um, so yeah, drug, drug problems you might not have known about. Okay, kids. so they do meth in North Korea because it makes you go, 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 go. So you can work, work, they, work for the regime. They look down on weed because weed makes you slow, 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 right. slow. And then you can't. We can't you worship can't a great leader. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, I'm going to be real honest with you. If I lived in North Korea, I would probably do a lot of hard drugs. Just to get by. Yeah. Just to get by. So I mentioned Norway and it reminded me that Netanya had um, posted that said, like, if she would have run, we're going anywhere in the world, she would have probably gone, Norway, go live. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yeah, it's cool and all, except that huge heroin problem. What I thought for doing me? Oh, and heroin addicts are a lot to deal with. Yeah. Uh, here's the thing in uh, Oslo, the capital, there are parks full of people just passed out from heroin. Yeah, they, just go, they just go over in corners and shoot and, up and, 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 and just the... slow under the lean. And under the lean. Oh, uh, yeah, oh, gone. Like we've said this before in the party, no, Bob. Never will I do any of those drugs. Yeah, if you have to snort it but or shoot it. I am so I'm curious on. what that must feel like. Never gonna do must it. Feel like the best but nut you know, ever. you know, like how you, know, um, you, like, you go to sleep after a really good nut. Yeah. If you pass out immediately after upon, doing upon this, injection, yes, dog, it, I've seen people like lean on the wall, not even make it to the floor with the needle hanging out yeah. of them arm. Yeah. Um, that must feel like the best nut. That ever. must feel ridiculous. Dicky. You know like how they kind of um, simulate the pregnancy cramps or pains or whatever mm. with the little parts? You want them to be able to simulate? If, if, if they please can, simulate crack. If, please if, simulate heroin. If they can ever like, <laughs> just simulate for 30 seconds what that shit, like the peak of that shit must feel like. I I'd, tot- feel. I'd totally do that. Because I don't want none to do with that. But for you to go through all of that problem to get that and then when you get it, it you don't even make it to the floor. It must, it be must be lava. So, but it's why why Norway's drug problem is is kind of fucked, like funny to me. What's it funny? They have the highest HDI. Wait, hold on. Why is it heroin in Norway though? Like oh, in North Korea though? That makes sense. That's what I'm going to say now. So, Norway has the highest HDI in the world. That's the Human Development Index, mm-hmm. and I think they might have one of the highest Gini coefficients. That's earning power. They're one of the richest countries in the world. The government has a sovereign fund that it invests for every single Norwegian that at this point, if it was divested, every citizen of Norway would get $100,000. So what am I all it for? A rainy day? They invest it. Oh, okay. So the country has a bank account for its citizens that it invests because they cool. have oil. Is that not it's, cool? That's fantastic. Okay, I wish cool. Every I, was, I, was, I was trying to see how that's not a dope thing. That's fucking dope. Okay, cool. But... It's a really rich country. Everything in Norway is really expensive because everybody makes a lot of money. So other people from other parts of Europe go there and like, Jano, shit's fucking expensive. But people who live and work in Norway are like, no, nah, let's just say it go. Because they earn more. Think, things are expensive, but my bank account heavy. So yeah. It, it works. So life should be fucking fantastic in Norway. So if all of this is going for uh, you and your life ain't going great, go do some heavy drugs. Go do some fucking heroin in the <laughs> park. <laughs> Why heroin? I tell you, I don't know. I don't know why specifically it have to be like that. Really ridiculous. Because it's cold. It's cold as fuck. I'm really far north. It's snowing. Everybody around me rich. Shit expensive. I'm broke. I'm gonna do this thing that can just take me away from it completely. It have to be like that. 
ridiculously that wet, wet, hot that super guac, guac girl. No, man, that ridiculously hot girl that you mad your friend and you see your friend like just, <laughs> just like yo, blah, but then. Soon you, as them broke up, you run. No, no, but then you see her and then you go, I fully understand why you're putting up with this. It have to be like that. It it have to be like the girl that driving you insane. But then you, you just watch, think, but then you, you just think about like the guap guap three thousand and the super snappy grap, and you're just like, fine. Your bridging start doing heroin before, and you watch him devolve, and you're just like, yeah, I'm gonna have some of that. No. <laughs> <laughs> like, you watch him fall apart. They're like, yeah. Like there's a weed there's is the only weed's the only drug you do that about. There's like two cokeheads in Kingston here that beg at stoplight and and sell. Right? One of the whole in this place. No. There's two of them that I've seen before the crack really took hold of them fully. Mm. And it's amazing. The change. The change that I, I can see. Them most can see it too, but them still doing it. Mm. Like, it's it crazy, man. It's like, I remember uh, my days of dabbling in lean. And like, when I found out that lean genu- genuinely creates a physical dependency, I was like, yeah, mm, I'm, nah. I'm, I'm out. Yeah, I just weed does not create a physical dependency. At least it's not been proven is the, by science. Is the ex- it definitely no, creates a psychological, a psychological dependency. The though. extent that the man name will go to, like I can deal with the psychological like, dependence. Therapy can get me off of that. Physical dependence. Therapy. And, you're gonna go through withdrawal and therapy shit. and exercise to get you off of that. Yeah. Um, the, it's a levels, right? Because I shoot him, I, Timmy. The, I know this one brother. I don't know him, but I've seen him around a lot. I've seen this brother has asked me for like a dollar funds. At the Havendale gas station, the Manor Park gas station, the gas station by the total by stadium, and the downtown Fesco. The same brother? The same man. Man is working hard for that. The man travel all that time and energy put into scoring the just whole of Kingston. To get some money for drugs. To get some money to go do your thing. Buy a crack rock. Smoke that shit up for you. Nice. Not, not going to eat because all the money. No, spent always, on my drugs. Su- always super skinny. It's just damn dog. Like when it when it yes. have you. Bro, when it's literally when, as you say. You might it must you be, might it must be fucking fantastic. When it have you like and it the drug whatever drug have it claws in you that that must be a terrible place to be. I, it's, all right, so drugs that I would love to try but won't in life, but they must be amazing. Mm-hmm. Crack, <laughs> <laughs> crack must be fire. Man, them say we're going to rock like when crack yeah. came in. Yeah, no. Crack <laughs> must be fire. Um, heroin must be fire. Gotta be. Fentanyl. Gotta be. Ketamine. I kind of want to. I really want to try Special K. Okay. Like, I, not in real life. I just want to know what it feel like. Okay, yeah, I'm curious. Um, what else is there? Like, like I want to try all the white people drugs without having to do them. What I am going to try before, like, my time on this earth is done, and it's just a fact, I'm going to South America and doing ayahuasca ceremony, you know. Yeah, that's, that's brown people drugs. I'm, I'm in I'm it. I'm fine with doing brown people I'm drugs. in it. I would do I'm some in ayahuasca. it, dog. I'm in it. The man them brew that not... tea from the vine, give you the tobacco before so you can vomit up your life and get all the bad shit out of you, and then you drink that ayahuasca and you could dance with God for a couple of hours, oh, I'm in. Yeah, but that's brown people. I'm good with that. White mm. people drugs, I want to try that without having to try it. Meth? Heroin. If I could put on the VR goggles and get all the sensations and then just take Meth, off the VR goggles. Heroin, um, what else them do? Nothing <clears throat> up nothing on God's great green earth, even in VR and simulation, even if the matrix was real and I could it no. Nah, you could never get Martin into the crocodile. No, oh, no, crocodile is dirty crack. I guess it's going to do crack. That makes you rot. Yeah. But Literally <clears throat> makes you rot. I funnily enough, I understand why those people do that. I don't. Dying from crocodile is better than living in Siberia. Wow. Wow, that's insane. It's fuck up anything about it, but their, their only other option is continue living as a poor person in Siberia. In Siberia. So them tech drugs, momentary happiness, but you, you I guess you're going to get off. Death. But you know what the average um, life expectancy in Russia for a man is anyway? Oh. 50. Really? They die from drinking. Oh, yeah. Well, that... Lots of accidents and lots of cirrhosis. <laughs> Guys, one of my favorite <laughs> facts That's about... like a genuine... That is a stereotype. That is 100% true. One of my Them favorite fuckers drink vodka like facts nothing. about Russia is that the number one problem in Russia isn't... The number one crime in Russia, rather, is theft. What kind of theft? Alcohol theft. Man, then will literally put their alcohol in a safe... 
to avoid people breaking into when people broke into the house, them not taking the TV and the jewelry and no, them breaking in for Stealing setting the alcohol. The and the man will put the alcohol in a safe and so the thief them take it one step further and they will just shake the safe around so all the glass is broken. Tip the safe into a basin so all the alcohol comes running out and then just lift with the basin. So the man them now have to bolt them safe to the ground or the wall so people can't jiggle it around and break everything in there. That is not funny, but it is. I mean, <coughs> life in Russia, dog. Rough. It must be. It's fucking cold. Like, every Beyond, single great it, power it that cold, has tried to invade cold, Russia, the winter beat them. lost because of the cold. <laughs> Nothing else. <laughs> the cold killed them. <laughs> And people live there. No. Willingly. Like the, the <laughs> there's a city, um, like the northernmost human settlement or one of the coldest ones in Russia that's mm-hmm. on the, the Arctic coast. That it the average temperature is like negative twenty degrees. No. Celsius. The fact that temperatures Not go Fahrenheit. negative. The fact, Celsius. The fact that temperatures go negative blew my mind as a child. To start your truck in the morning, you have to take your flamethrower and heat <laughs> up the gas tank from the outside to free up the fuel so the truck can start. So you have to put fire on your gas tank. That crazy, brother. And man, the man leave said, this. So. The man said flamethrower. Literally. <laughs> There's there's somewhere there's a safety hazard. There. We don't know where, but somewhere in that story <laughs> of putting a flamethrower to <laughs> heat up your tank. gas tank, there might be a safety issue there. But I don't think OSHA works in I Russia. Just picture a man outside and go. Lit- <laughs> Is that and crank it? Nah. It no warm enough. It no warm enough. It no warm enough. The gas freezes in the pipes, my A man lift this so. <laughs> Listen, I'm really happy that like. Whoever and however the world happened to end me up here, I'm really happy I'm right here because the people that just kept going north and north and north and north and no- the man them that live in the Arctic Circle, the man them that came south, bro, the man them that live in the Arctic Circle willingly are mad people, mad men. Hey, mad men. What them name? The the Inuits. The, the Inuits. No, you are. I'm not talking about like when you're born there. I'm talking about people that move there. Oh yeah, no, y'all niggas crazy. Man will man, man from Jamaica who moved to Canada, like northern, yeah, like red way Canada? north Canada. No, no y'all crazy. Man who left Jamaica. Here's looking at you, Tyrone. Man who left Jamaica and moved go to yeah, Alaska. Moved to a town with two thousand people in there. Mm-hmm. Uh, two thousand whiteies. Mm-hmm. Um, a man move. Well, me and everybody going her Alaska cruise her birthday. Then we book a Jamaican man working in Alaska. We're in Alaska. Everywhere. I know, but dog, what could I possess? You forget up out of cheap good, land, good, hot Jamaica, cheap land in the US, land. and citizenship. It frozen. It could have keep little more. So Man, na- Man- na- what's the point of go Alaska, bad man. Alaska have snow and whales. I'm cool. That's why Russia sold it to America <laughs> for cheap. Because no one fucking wanted that. And then they found out it has oil and like, fuck. Oh, we want it back. It's like, no take back seas. No, no take back seas, That's guys. not how this works, ladies and germs. You want to wrap this up before your baby mama start cuss you off? Yeah. <laughs> probably, All right, guys. She probably do that. No, nah, you know, she's probably just going to wait till they get home and be super grumps. <laughs> Look at the man's face. All right, guys. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of the Bamcast. You don't know if you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you so much for rocking out with us. Remember, youtubebright.com, promo code BAM10, 10% off anything you've ordered. Prismatic verse for the intro sequence. Boom draw physics for the intro and outro tune. Thank you guys for rocking with us. Join the par if this is your first time here and you're watching on YouTube. Just go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. You don't know. Rock out with that us. Notification bell. Share it with your friends. Join the par. Dropping bombs on your moms, guys. Oh, um, big up Timmy. The voice in the background. Yes, yeah, Timmy. Timmy was our third on this episode. He should, 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 should I got a mic? Should I got a mic? He could have been throwing in some fire ad libs, but he will be on the pod one day when he feels up to it. Dropping bombs on your moms. The car alarms are full. 